The medal hall at the World Championships in Nairobi is evidence that South Africa possesses a truly special group of athletes capable of challenging the best the planet has to offer. The small team selected for the event received criticism but was justified as the ASA president explains. It's based on the criteria. Look at the 200 meters, look at the 100 meters. The athlete that was expected to win the 100 meters did not win but the second uh, ranked won. And even the first rank that was coming from Jamaica did not win, but the South Africans won, 100 and 200. South Africa dominated the 100 metres and 200 metres events in Nairobi, with Richard Ditswe and Mlenga claiming gold in the 200 metres and silver in the 100 metres, while Chenolo Lemal rewrote the history books by becoming the first ever South African to win gold in the 100 metres. It's amazing, overwhelming. I mean, I could imagine the support that we've been getting from the country. So I'm happy to have came back with medals for the country. I'm really, really excited. Brayton Poole powered to an astonishing personal best of 2.24 metres to win gold in the high jump and claim the title last won by a South African in 1999. The 5'7 inch Poole says the Olympic Games is his next objective. I'm qualifying for Olympics in 2029 and I'm fast to this off and I'm still 17 so let's hopefully 2020 go to Tokyo. I couldn't believe it. I, it was an undescribable feeling. I, I just couldn't... I couldn't imagine coming into the competition, going in, just break my PB two times, and it was just really amazing. It is the nation's best ever medal haul at a global athletics event. Five golds, three silvers, and three bronze means South Africa finishes top of the medal table. It's fair to say that South Africa's golden generation is well and truly underway. cs 2 c CGTN, Johannesburg. Meanwhile, the IAAF has confirmed that Kenya has broken the world attendance record for both the youth and the under-18 world championships. Over 60,000 spectators turned up on Sunday to watch the final events. The stadium came alive when Kenyan athletes celebrated the victories with laps of honor. More than 1,000 athletes from 100 nations took part in the five-day event. The Kenyan government officials and IAAF executives have declared the competition a major success. Let's take a look at the final results on the medals table. South Africa is in first place with 11 medals, five gold, three silver, and three bronze. China finishes second with five gold, two silver, and four bronze. Cuba, at the surprise entry in third sport, hosts Kenya are in fourth with 15 medals, while Ethiopia.